Hello everyone. Scientists are quite peculiar people who sometimes do, well, let's say, strange experiments. For example, they create new races of animals, crossing various inhabitants of our planet. And believe us, the results of their experiments are worth seeing. So make yourself comfortable and let's get it on. Zebroid have you ever wondered if zebras get along with their distant relatives like horses or donkeys? Well, here's the answer. Thanks to scientists, they get along so well that as a result of this friendship, these zebroids may appear. The zebroid is the common name for all hybrids of a zebra and any other equine animal, such as a horse, donkey, or pony. As a rule, to make a small zebroid appear, male zebras and females of other equids are used. Very often, the body of the newborn animal is similar to that of the mother, but the father's fringes usually appear on the legs or partially on the neck and torso. Zebroids, like other equine hybrids, are bred mainly for practical use, such as mountain and herd animals. In Africa, they have advantages over horses and donkeys, as they're resistant to the tsetse fly's sting and are more docile to training than wild zebras. Bald Chicken what? Mm -hmm. If there are bald cats, why can't there be bald chickens? Yes, we agree, the idea of creating naked birds without feathers to protect them seems rather strange. But residents of the southern regions where the summer air temperature exceeds 50 degrees Celsius know how birds suffer from this. Because of the heat in Israel, about 10,000 birds die each year in houses and large farms. This prompted Israeli scientists to develop a hybrid that could live in a warmer climate. Famous selectionists of Igdor Kahana spent 25 years trying to create chickens without feathers. As a genetic base, he used broilers, which he crossed with naked neck chickens and other varieties with fewer feathers. Let's be honest, the results was pretty spooky, but these chickens tolerate any heat and are protected from parasites. By the way, here's an interesting fact. The main character in the Russian film 12 Chairs, the fraudster Ostap Bender, is inspired by a real person who found it by a company called The Perfect Hen, and he was selling, yes, bald chickens. Of course, all this was a fraud, but who knows, maybe the descendants of that cunning guy went to Israel and finished what their grandfather started. Sarloos Wolf Dog this breed of service dogs created by Lendert Salus is the result of the crossing of the female wolf Fleur and the German shepherd Gerard van Fransinum. Salus wolf dogs live according to the law of the pack and the owner is recognized as the leader without any special training. They are characterized by their independence and at the same time their attachment to the leader. These dogs, like their wolf ancestors, are instinctively kept at a safe distance from a person or animal that can harm them and are always ready to retreat in the event of an imminent threat. They can also change their behavior abruptly, depending on the situation, from calm and indifference to sudden aggression. Wolf dogs never bark, but occasionally howl like wolves. And although this breed is considered to be off service, wolf dogs have a well developed hunting instinct and can, like wolves, hunt in packs. And they're also used as guides for the blind. Yes, quite rare for animals that have real wild predators in their family. Liger The hybrid between the male lion and the female tiger, the Liger, is the largest modern representative of the cat family. The Liger looks like a giant lion with slightly blurred stripes inherited from its tiger mother. Have you heard of the ancient cave lions that died about 10,000 years ago? Well, if you want to understand what they were like, just look at the ligers. It's true that you won't find them in nature, because in a natural environment, lions and tigers have almost no chance to meet. However, the conditions in zoos are completely different. The largest of the current hybrids, a liger named Hercules, weighs 450 kilograms, approximately like two common lions or a hundred well-fed domestic cats. The only disadvantage of these huge cats is the inability to produce offspring between them. However, some births of Liligers, the puppies of Ligers and Lions, have been registered. Growler What happens if a polar bear meets a grizzly bear? 
a Grola will appear, an incredible interspecific hybrid. The first reliable information on the appearance of a hybrid of a grizzly bear and a polar bear was obtained at the zoo in the German city of Halle, where several hybrid puppies have been born since 1874. They were white at birth, but later turned brownish yellow and brown, and successfully crossed between them. But the main distinguishing feature of this hybrid is not in the color of the skin or even the behavior. The fact is, growlers are sometimes found in nature. It is true that there are only three confirmed births outside zoos. Although brown and polar bears are genetically similar and often found in the same territory, they tend to avoid each other and are certainly not prone to produce offspring. Geep the domestic goat is a descendant of the mountain goats, and the domestic sheep are descended from wild sheep. They differ in the number of chromosomes, and therefore the offspring who have emerged from this strange union don't have a long life. But sometimes hybrids manage to survive, and are known as geeps. From the mother sheep, the little geep receives its thick hair and heavy body and from the father, the goat, its long legs and sometimes horns. Unlike lambs or small goats, hybrids are characterized by their activity, and they grow much faster and hardly get sick. According to the owners, the geeps look more like the sheep, while the wool is similar to that of the Caucasian shepherds, and in the spring they molt like goats. Yeah, genetics is a pretty peculiar thing. Scottish Cow if you like looking at landscape photos, then you should have found pictures of these incredibly cute and fluffy animals grazing on the green slopes. Scottish cows appeared as a result of the crossing of large red highland breeds with small varieties living in the Hebrides Islands to the west of Scotland. These unusual animals are covered with thick, long, dense two-layer hair. At the top, the hair is thick and dense, reaching 30 centimeters, and underneath, they have a soft, warm undercoat. The cow's eyes are hidden behind and a dense fringe that creates a barrier to wind, rain, and snow. It also protects against insects that can carry a dangerous infection. Yes, these cows are very unusual, but their appearance is quite consistent with the climate of the area where they were born. Low temperatures, strong winds, and frequent rains require some resistance from local animals. So this Scottish breed of Highland cows is endowed with endurance. However, these spongy cows differ not only in the length of their hair, but also in their body proportions. Portions. Thanks to their short legs, these animals feel comfortable on mountain slopes and can move freely without fear of falling. Wolfin Although the name of this animal sounds like a word invented by a child, the wolfins are real. This is a rare hybrid of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. In captivity, there are only two specimens, and both live in Hawaii's marine park. The size of the wolfin is similar to the size of the original species, as well as other parameters. For example, the number of teeth. Maybe you're wondering how such a creature could have been born. Well, here's the answer. No idea. Maybe there was a very romantic atmosphere in the aquarium. But scientists claim that these hybrids may well occur in nature, which means they may be born without human intervention, although no such cases have been reported to date. <laughs> Savannah Remember Princess Jasmine who had a house tiger? Well, if you always wanted to feel like the daughter of a sultan, but the huge cat didn't fit in the apartment, there's a great solution, the Savannah Cat. This breed of cats began to be produced in the United States in the early 1980s. The breeders sought to create a large domestic cat with an exotic, but at the same time indulgent wild color. So the hybrid between a wild African serval and a normal domestic cat appeared. It must be said that savannah cats are quite large, can reach 60 centimeters high, and also weigh a lot, about 15 kilograms. In addition to size and color, savannah cats inherited from their wild parents a passion for water walking outdoors and are not afraid of water. Jag Lion This hybrid between a jaguar and a lioness is a truly beautiful thing. These animals are often of a black color 
through which diffuse dark spots are seen. Apart from this, hybrids resemble the common lions. They're quite large and even have a small black mane. The two most famous jag lions, Jazara and Tsunami, were born in the Bear Creek Reserve in Ontario, Canada, without any intervention by scientists. The parents of the unusual cats grew up together, and then at some point they became very close friends, and, well, this is the beautiful result. Mangalica no, this is not a computer-made video, and it's not a pig in a wig, but a real creature. The Mangalica pig was obtained in 1833 by the Hungarian Archduke Joseph, who crossed domestic pigs with wild pigs. Hybrids have thick coats thanks to the wild pigs, and not to the sheep, as it seems at first glance. The Mangalicas are of medium size, with a dense and strong skeleton. They have a long, thick fur that, in the cold season, protects perfectly against the colds. During this period, the Mangalica breed pig actually looks like a lamb, especially in the distance walking on the pasture. With the start of the warm season, the undercoat disappears and the hair turns into beautiful curls. Well, and the little Mangalica piglets are born striped and incredibly similar to the little boars, but with age, these lines unfortunately disappear. Silky Chicken We finish our list with another chicken. Yeah, who would have thought that these birds could be so unusual to be in our video twice? Well, the silky breed is a very old breed. The famous traveler Marco Polo described these incredible birds in detail as early as the 13th century in his notes on China. Even if you've never seen a silky chicken live or in a photo, you'll never mistake it for any other breed. They're terribly fluffy. After the appearance of the first chickens of this breed in Europe, it was long believed that they were the result of crossing chickens and rabbits. And you know, we kind of understand where this myth came from. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.